so now we have to mark this box as you can see <coughs> the length of this tip bar is 1.5 mm so i am also making the bar half of the bar So I am not making it full, I will explain you afterwards so why. <coughs> so I am making this. So now with this round end 0.8 mm tip burr, paper fisher burr. By using this way, just make it flat. Merge the incisor groove. Now, <coughs> now I am preparing only incisal part. See, in veneer we do three step preparation, but in the crown we, we always do two step preparation. I will show you. So now only in size I am preparing. Now you can see the incisal mark is disappearing. So I created incisal angulation. You will see it in this this direction. When now you can see it in this direction. When you turn the head of the patient, you can see this is the one plane. Now, you have to keep your burr in the maximum bulged area. You can see, see if you place your burr here, you can see there is a gap here. So, this is undercut. So, now to make it two planes, you have to place your burr here and then run up to the level where this disappeared. Now you can see one plane into this is two plane angles. And now when you see from upside <coughs> You can see unintentionally we develop a marginal line. We are not made this, but with the use of proper angulation bow, you created a marginal line. Okay. So now you have to turn your the patient's head sideways and use the thinner bow. This is the tip of this is 0.6. So now the trick here is you have to make a vertical slot first by running the but outside you made a vertical slot so that it stabilizes your bar. Now Keeping it parallel, do not turn your uh, tip like this, it will over tapered preparation, do not turn like this, it will create undercut here, so you have to go straight. And do not give pressure, rely on the rotation of the bar only. Always use now you can see my word is going in straight direction but still I am not touching the adjacent teeth because I will show you you can see there is a hip of the tooth which is protecting the adjacent teeth you can see that the dutch and there is a hip see this is the hip of the 
to thought which is protecting from the adjacent teeth. Now you can go slowly. Yeah. And this birth This bird already gave you a good paper. <clears throat> now you have to go on making the lightly wider. You can see this is half. And continue it on the same. Let turn the patient's head. Suppose there is a gap, but but you can use the same technique. Always follow the same technique. Make a vertical slot so that your burr will not slip. And it moves in the slot. Now you can see both the paper has been good. <clears throat> now for palatal, there are many tricks you can use, but the simplest is to use the round burr. Do not use the burr like this, otherwise, you go inside the pulp very easily. See. You have to use the burr like this and this incisal edge is hinging it. So always keep the mirror as as this far as possible. Okay. So and keep the diameter of this diamond burr in your mind. So now We start from the most concave part of the one, two, three. Yeah. Make this three. three. Now you have to take your pencil and mark that one, two. So now I am merging this death growth with this American football paper. Now you can see the incisal edge is very thin, at least we need 1 mm, so we need to reduce it further. So if I could have done it earlier, so I could have go more apical incisal edge. So it, it end up in over reduction, okay. So this is how we reduce this part. Now, now take the same thinner burr and keep it parallel to the long axis of the tooth and create a margin here. And try to join the margin with the anterior margin you created. 
and make it a little deeper in with the proximal area. Always keep the work Point eight mm bar and using the half of this. Now you can see all the margin in one frame. <coughs> now step two, we have to finish the margin and the tooth. Now as I explained, the incisor edge is thin, so we need to reduce it a little further from so that it le at least is one mm. So now stage two, we will start from finishing stage we use the red strip bar that is of 8.8 diameter half of the bar you can use always keep the bar in and now with this bar I am taking my margin to the cervical area. Okay, so now I am palatal margin. So palatal you can keep a little bit higher, do not take the margin to the edge, no need to take the margin to the edge. Now, I'll take a disc and round off the all the buccal, incisal, labial angle. You need not to 
make the prep smoother but this and this skeleton always make it rounder light polish you can give for the palatal side I can use the enhance 